Hey guys, I'm gonna quickly show you the difference between pixels per inch and dots per inch. Uh, basically, what you're looking at with dots per inch is what your printer does. Okay, it prints little dots which make up an inch. So, uh, more dots that you get per inch, the better quality resolution that you will see um, on your screen. It's pretty much the same thing with pixels per inch. Uh, the more pixels that you get in one inch, the better quality of picture you will get. I'm just gonna show you, if you scan a picture, you do wanna scan it at its highest resolution. For example, this picture that I've been working on, uh, I do photo restoration, so I do have to scan all my pictures the highest resolution that I can. Um, this is because um, you need to restore some parts and you want that the best resolution that you can do um, so you can see more details on your picture. Now, for example, I'm just going to show you the size of this picture. Uh, once you scan it, it's on your pic on your um, computer. You'll see it as a pixel per inch. So, as you can see, this one has uh, 24. All right, so that's 2,400 pixels per inch. Um, it is pretty high, and it it, it is a pretty big uh, file size. Okay, it's a couple of megabytes, uh, around 60 megabytes uh, for just this uh, file itself. Now, if we zoom in on it, just around that much, we start to see some pixels per inch right here, that graininess. Um, if we zoom in a little bit more, there you see the pixels that we I am talking about. Those are pixels per inch, okay? Um, now, I'm going to open up another picture. This one is not a scan picture. This one's the one I took at a fashion show. Um, this one... It's of a model, it's uh, with a professional camera, so it is an 18 megapixel camera that I took this with. Now, if we look to file size, it's actually significantly s smaller than the other one. It only has 500 pixels per inch, but yet, when we zoom in, you're going to see that we don't see any pixels, not even right now. In the other one, when we zoomed in that much, we started to see pixels already. Um, this is because it's a scanned picture, so you do see more details of it, but the details are dots since it was printed, okay? So you start to see those dots um, from the printer once you zoom in a little bit. Now, so something like this picture, you will not see um, the pixels of it, well, the dots, since it wasn't printed just yet. This, w this wasn't a scanned picture, this is strictly a digital file. Now, if you zoom in a little bit more, you're, start, you're gonna start to see the pixels. See these squares? Those are the pixels. And um, same thing here, if you zoom in quite a bit, you're just gonna start seeing the pixels, okay? So they are a little bit smaller um, pixels than the other one, since it, it, it did scan a really high res. Um, however, you did see that difference um, from a scanned photo to a digital photo. A uh, digital format photo will always be better than uh, a scanned picture. Um, now, why would you want something that has that has a lot of, let's say, an 18 megapixel camera versus a 10 megapixel camera? Um, well, that would just mean that you can print the picture bigger. Uh, since you're not going to normally zoom in this much to your picture to actually see the pixels, okay? So if you do want to print your picture really big, you want more uh, pixels per inch. So you do want a higher megapixel camera. So you don't want an 18, 20 megapixel camera um, to take your pictures. But that's only if you want to print really large pictures, uh, such as poster or banner size. Now, for regular people that just print, you know, go to your uh, closest print shop station and go print a 4x6 picture, or um, even 8x10, which is pretty large. Um, but the most common one is a 4x6. You don't really need an 18 megapixel camera. Um, you just need a 6 megapixel camera, really, for a uh, 4x6 picture. If um, even a 10 megapixel camera, it's actually too much to print a 4x6 picture since you're not gonna really see those pixels. Okay? Um, so when you're buying a camera, just take that into mind. Why getting those uh, extra megapixels? You're not really ever gonna print that that big. Now, if you are thinking of printing things big, get a bigger. Um, better camera obviously um, so but for general people I would just say stick to a regular one 
anyways, so that's the difference between um, pixels per inch and dots per inch. As you saw, dots per inch is what's printed, pixels is what you see on your screen. And when you scan your picture, just make sure to scan it at your highest res, um, such as this one. This one actually, when I scanned it originally, it looked like this. Um, from there, I just increased a little things and um, just restarted a little bit. And your second stage would be that uh, once once I it got to restoring it. And right now, I'm in this stage right now. Um, so that's just to show you a little quick look of what I do and what I know in Photoshop. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, and um, don't know really what camera to buy, or you're looking this up just to see how many uh, pixels per inch or dots per inch you should be using on your computer, or what uh, what's appropriate to print in what size, just um, send me a comment or ask any questions. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thank